Okay, so the intro the intro is based around an A chord, A, D, and an interval of a six, like you know G and E, and then it goes up a whole step, and then it ends on a that part right there. I thought it went higher, but I I don't think it does. So A barred second fret, and then we have this chord right here, kind of like a Jackson Brown thing. All right, so A, then we add our ring finger on the fourth string, fourth fret, and our second finger on the, th on the uh, third string, second fret. And then ring finger, fourth finger, both on the fifth fret, on the fourth and second strings. If you're playing the, low, the A on the bottom as a drone, that's fine. It repeats twice, then it does decline. Here. It goes from the 5th fret to the 7th fret, same form. And then here, which is the uh, same strings, the 4th and 2nd string, but we use, um, at least I use my 2nd and 1st fingers. So my 1st finger is on the 8th fret, 2nd string, and my 2nd uh, finger is on the ninth fret, 4th string. Done. So I mean, like, I mean, I've heard I've seen, some guys do this, but like, I don't hear this note in there. When I hear the rush version, I don't hear like a major third, like where I fall. It just sounds like it's kind of doing that. Um, like that. It's like a fatted out, like, a, you know, five chords. So, I mean, I could be wrong, and I probably am, but um, for me to play it, you know, it's easier for me to grab it here. I don't have other chord, other strings ringing. So what this is right here, this is a like if you're doing a power chord on the fifth fret or sorry fifth fret, fifth string root, you know, you're using your first and like ring and fourth finger like like with a space in between. That's the same chord here, except because of the tuning, it's got to spread out like this. So instead of it being like this, you have to have that right there. So. And I kind of, you know, I, I, can, I can keep this first finger kind of barring the second fret and make it big and, you know, it becomes a big power chord in you. Or, okay, so, um, then, then the verse... again now it goes to what's called a I guess it's a chorus I don't know it's a, it, doesn't, it just doesn't sound like much of a chorus there's not really there's never really like a hook in a rush song you know so now I'm playing it like that okay so it's power chord power chord and it's all based around the fifth fret so it's so five seven seven on the fourth uh, sorry, the fifth, fourth, and third strings. And then I moved to here, which is fourth, third, and second strings. Fifth fret, seventh fret, eighth fret. Okay. Now I suppose you could play it here. So you could probably do that, yeah. This is pretty fast moving. So if you don't want to do all this shifting and moving here, my other alternative is to do a D chord here. But I'm not playing a D major. We're not doing We're thinking power chords. So it's going to be D, A, D. And this is the fourth string. Open. Second fret on the third string, first finger. And I'm going to do my third finger right here on the second fret third string and what I'm going to do is play that there and then when I go to the G I'm going to take these fingers off and leave my third finger here and I'm going to go as it you know tuning is optional I guess in rock and roll because this SG keeps going out of tune so the bass line is doing um, uh, what's it doing? Uh, 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 it's, doing, it's doing that underneath that song. I was throwing the C in there before. There, but I guess you can leave it. Now. 
I can just keep doing it there. So, um, so I mean, you, you could do it open as well. It's just you have to get to this. So what that is is that's basically that's basically like a C Lydian scale going down to E. So it's like C, which is your third fret, fifth string, B, second string. Sorry, second fret, fifth string, and then fifth fret, sixth string. It was where your A is. Third fret, G. I'm hearing like a climb up there. It's kind of like it's a whole bunch of 16th notes going on there. But kind of leads me back to that uh, that that intro riff. So so it goes down. Take a while to get because it's all 16 notes. Yeah. You can do that too. So as it goes down and goes back up again. So. So. First time it goes down. C, B, A. chords again. Then it tags the line going back to the A, 5th fret, 6th string. G. Open E. So G, F sharp, open E, F sharp, G, then Do another verse again. We do another chorus, and then after we do the chorus, we do um, after that we tag that line again. Okay. All right. So the middle section. Um, after it goes down, descends that line. We go to the middle section, which is a break. So some debating about this, and um, also we'll talk about those chords again for the. Um, all right, anyway, so uh, it starts on a C. So this right here, I do it here. Some guys are just jumping up to the eighth fret to do. Just really, I mean, it's a pattern you can play it anyway. So, um, so we have it's based off of a, you know, basically a C scale. So that that's the pattern. So, third fret, fifth string, second finger, and then second fret, fourth string, first finger. Third fret, second finger, fourth string. Then we have fifth fret, fourth, fourth finger, fourth string, and then, and then we have second fret, first finger, third string, and then we have frets three and five on the same string. So it sounds weird. I mean, it, uh, Could be doing that too. It's just like I'm kind of torn on either one of them. Um, my ear just can't seem to pick it up unless I slow it down immensely. For you know, for for, for some reason that that interval is. It's either a C major and then it switches to mixolydian and all the rest of them, which is. So we take the same pattern, we move it from the third fret. We do it here. We do it on. Now we do the same pattern on the fifth fret. Third fret, third fret. Now we do here. Now this is because it's F. 
We do F on the first uh, fret there on the sixth string. And then we play A open. Um, so that's like um, almost like the beginning of the F major scale. So F, A, B flat, which is the second, or sorry, first fret, fifth string. And then ring finger, third fret. And then we do open. to our pattern here. Um, third fret, sixth string. And we go back to C, which is right here. And that, and that completes the pattern when we go to the one that starts on A, which is your fifth fret. Um, on the sixth string. That's why I play this here. Or you can put it back to. Which is a D and G chord. And so I've seen guys playing like this. My brain just can't comprehend these, these, these simple chords for some reason. That, that sounds wrong to me. I don't know why. I just well, I keep wanting to hear it go to C instead. And we're back to the last verse there. So it's just strumming on the A chord and keeping things rather staccato. We kind of lean into that G note on the uh, third fret on the sixth string. We do a D or uh, uh, it just doesn't sound right to me to play there. Um, you know, just you know. So. so we have so we have a D power chord on the fifth fret, strings four through three. I'm oh, sorry, four through yeah, four through. I'm oh, sorry, strings five through three. up a whole step to the E. And we can play this open string here. We play the whole thing. We can play part of it like that. Then we go back to the... So, guys are playing it. that line again so going there to A. So D, G, D, G, D, A. Then, then, then this is where it does the um, That's where I, I got it, where it kind of sounded like it was going to the C. Or I'll do that too. So that's the last the last line is a play on the other one, so So C, B, A, G, A, B, C, B, A, G, A, B, C, B, A, G, A, B, F sharp, open E, and down D. 
So I'll tab those out for you, but just so you have some sort of video explanation, okay? So we can talk more about it, and um, hopefully this video helps. You can archive it for your, uh, for your use. All right. So I'll see you soon. Hope all is well. Take care. Peace.